Found it. Picture perfect.
がとうございますいらっしゃいませありがとうございます。
You must be tired. There you are, Kiryu. Got some interesting news on my end. Might take a while. You good on time? Yeah, I've got time. Well, I'll give it to you straight. It's about Akiyama. Akiyama? I take it you heard something? I did. Seems he'd made his way out of Japan. Right about when the Tojo clan and Omi Alliance disbanded. So, that would be about four years ago. And what? That's it? For now, I've tried finding him through all my contacts, but the man's a slippery one. Now, this is rumor-level intel here, but supposedly, he's been sighted in Singapore a few times. Fitting, too, since they rake in investments from all over. A guy like him would feel right at home. Well, he's been out of town this long. Any chance he'd even come back? Every time we met, he'd doubt me like no tomorrow. Kept saying you just had to be alive. He even guessed I was in on it at one point. But after I kept playing it off, I guess he got fed up. I mean, we're the ones who distanced ourselves from Akiyama. The Daidoji had us promise that, no exceptions. Yeah, I know. Can't exactly fault him for taking off like that. I'm at least glad to know he's doing well. It was always a risk, meeting with him. Man might act like a goof, but he's sharp as a tack. The moment you got close enough to listen in, he'd have sniffed you out. If that happened, you can bet the Daidoji would act real fast. Right. Guess it's time we call it then. You've done more than enough, Date-san. Taichi, Kazuki, Yuya. You even got in touch with Sayama. Hang on. I didn't call you out here to close up shop. Rather, how would you feel about taking it a step further? Hmm? What do you mean? Let's be frank. Daidoji doesn't care who you see. At least, I don't think. That's fair to assume, right? I mean, you haven't gotten any complaints, have you? Hmm, guess not. That means either they haven't noticed what we're doing, or they're letting us get away with it. A or B, I say we go all in, and get in touch with who you want to see most. If I had to guess, that'd be Haruka. You declared yourself a dead man, and all but disappeared. That's the promise you made with the Daidoji. If you went and broke that promise, well, I can't imagine it end well for you. But still... Wait, Date-san. Hmm? What's up? When this place gets so quiet, I don't even hear anyone outside.
So what's the deal? They with the Daidoji? Nah, never seen them before. Tell you one thing, though. They definitely didn't come here for a drink. What's wrong? You wanted a fight? Well, here I am. Come on! I think I'll enjoy this. I'm on a roll. Let's go. What? Try to block this. How do you like this? Allow me. What's the hold up? You're going to regret this. Here we go. And a chance. Strong! Who are these guys? Any idea? Huh. They're definitely not any old thugs. In fact, they moved like pros. Right. Guess they're not done yet. Wait, you're... The fellas you took down here. They're a group of Liumong boys called the White Masks. They'll work for anyone who pays them. Need some skulls cracked? They're there to please. Hang on. Just what are you... Akiyama? Not every day someone holds their own against White Masks. Let alone this many. And after seeing you fight, there's no mistaking it. Do me a favor and be up front, eh? Kiryu-san? <sighs> Still with the cold shoulder routine. All these years, and you can't bend a little? Wait, so you mean this whole setup was you? Sure was. Every time I asked Date-san about you, he'd give me the same crap about you being dead. No doubt he'd keep that up if I hadn't caught you red-handed, hmm? That's just... you can't... Oh, so you would have been honest with me this time around? Well, uh, I... See? There he goes again. <laughs> Akiyama, what the hell? You must really think I'm stupid! Both of you! For all the secrecy, it was pretty obvious. No way in hell you'd die that easily. And sure enough, right when the Tojo and Omi disbanded, I got word that old Six Feet Under Kiryu made a surprise visit. I figured for sure things must have cooled down by then. But nope. That was all she wrote. Kazuma Kiryu's glorious return fizzled out like some urban legend. Not even a word my way either. I guess I didn't matter since I'm not part of your little gang. Then, why are you here today? How'd you know where we were? I asked a buddy to keep tabs on everything. Trail Date-san and see if maybe anything's changed. Date-san was the key. Surely he'd find a way to get in contact with Kiryu-san. <laughs> Lo and behold, just the other day, I hear old Date's been frequenting a certain bar out in Ijincho. All I had to do was come back to Japan, play my cards right, and poof. Here I am, and there you are. So, with that out of the way, maybe it's time you explained yourself. And just what is it you want me to tell you? Why I had to become a ghost? 
I'll take anything so long as it's good. You and your pal here are done playing me for a fool. Hey, maybe give it up, Kiryu. I'd rather not get slugged by Akiyama again. I ain't apologizing yet, by the way. I'm still ready to kick you across the street. Hey now, not funny. <laughs> Fine, I'll tell you everything. Looks like you finally won, Akiyama. So that's it, then. That's the story. So what, Kiryu-san? You made a pact with this Daidoji faction to protect Haruka-chan and Haruto-kun? I did. I needed to be dead to the world, and I had to keep silent to make good on my word. Dante-san was there when I made that promise. I made him my sole witness. It was my fault he couldn't tell you all this time. You want to blame someone, blame me. Like I even could after all that. Especially not now that I know you're dying. Sorry. You know, it doesn't matter who I tell. They always start treating me nice. Oh, brother. And you just had to lay it on me, huh? So what you been up to, Akiyama? You snuck away from Kamarocho without so much as a peep. <laughs> well, as you know, I get smitten pretty easily. Before I knew it, I chased some girl way out the country. Thanks to that, however, I got to take it easy. <laughs> Almost feel guilty now, what with how rough you guys have had it. Yeah, well, I heard you left at a good time. Got out just as the Tojo clan disbanded. Right around then, the governor enacted his Kamarocho 3K plan. Anyone operating even an inch outside the law got shut down. Knowing you, that must have thrown a wrench your way. I'm sure the police came knocking, yeah? Hey, if you knew, you could have at least thrown me a bone, huh? The money I handled mostly comes from gray zones, so I had to spread it across the globe to keep it safe. Right, and then you ended up in Singapore. Wait, what? Singapore? Who said anything about that? Huh? Was that wrong? Wrong as can be. But it's not like I tell you the truth either way. <laughs> of course not. We had our secrets, and now Akiyama's returning the favor. You wouldn't be that stingy, would you? Sure I would. I'm a moneylender, remember? Let's not forget he still sick the Liumong after us, too. You know, I should file a complaint to Sun He. Tell her boys they ought to check their target next time. Right. <clears throat> anyway. All in all, I get there wasn't much you could do, given the circumstances. But how long have we known each other? We've taken on countless Yakuza and been through the ringer how many times now? If you're wondering whether I was cool with being left out, the answer's no. Didn't you just say you get it? Look, point is, you didn't even ask me for help. No. You went off to carry that weight all by yourself. Buddy, that's just plain lame. Anyhow, I won't go blaming you. On the contrary, I'm gonna help you see things through. Hmm? This might have started off as some Daidoji deal, Kiryu-san. But I'm gonna guess you're in deep again, huh? Fat chance I'll just sit back and ignore that. I appreciate it, but if you get involved, I promise to the Daidoji's as good as empty. Right, the pact you made. And what, you just stick to the shadows the rest of your life? Was there really no other way? There might have been. But things back then were... Let's just say they were pretty dire. <laughs> hey, well, I sure have never lived life as a dead man, far as I'm aware. Still, I can only imagine how lonely you feel. You can't see Haruka-chan or Haruto-kun, can you? That's the idea. Hey now, Kiryu. What'd I tell you earlier? The Daidoji might give you a pass, even to see Haruka. Even if it's just a quick glance. It's great you're keeping your promise, but is it worth it? You don't have much time left. I know. That's why I can't do it. What? 
So what if I do meet with Haruka now? Before long, I'll just be gone from her life again. They'd have to watch me die a second time. Some good that do. You sure about that? Hmm? Meeting today, seeing you again after so long. It's like whatever I had pent up inside just disappeared. For my money, I can't see myself regretting this one bit. You changed my life, Kiryu-san. I don't know where or who I'd be if not for you. You gave me a chance when I was at rock bottom. Of course, you didn't exactly know it then. Right as I'm giving up, I learn about this guy. Some hard-headed lunatic in the same town, who kept fighting no matter what he was up against. You're more than you realize, Kiryu-san. It wasn't just opportunity. It was more than some chance. You gave me the courage to keep on living. You made a difference. And because of that, I did all I could to find you. You're a special person to me, believe it or not. And really, I'll bet Haruka-chan feels it even more. Come off it, Akiyama. I'm nothing special, and you know it. You believe that? If I see her again, if I see Haruka, death might actually become scary. Who knows, maybe I'm just a coward. I wouldn't go that far, Kiryu. So the dragon of Dojima has something he fears after all. <laughs> Feel a lot better about myself, honestly. Great. <laughs> Always something to say. You really are sharp as a tack. <laughs> An honor coming from you. Well, I'd say that settles it then, Kiryu. Mm. Next time we do this, I'm bringing Haruka in. She might even have Haruto with her. You're not serious. You think I'd say so otherwise? <laughs> Seeing you in a whole new light, Date-san. Let me know if there's anything I can do. A new light, huh? Well, anyway, let's toast. Bury the hatchet, good and deep. Now we're talking. Cheers, fellas. <laughs> yeah, for now. いらっしゃいませ。ありがとう。Hoping you're free. Got some big news for you. But if you want to hear it, you're gonna need to travel. That okay? Yeah, I'm good to go. Great, perfect timing too. All right then. I'm gonna have you head over to Serena. 
Serena, you want me back in Kamurocho? Yeah, Akiyama's bringing over a special guest. The very last one I want you to meet. Care to hazard a guess? You don't mean Haruka, do you? And Haruto, too. They came all the way from Okinawa. I haven't told them you're still alive or anything, but I'm sure they'd be thrilled to see you. More so than vice versa, I'd say. Date-san, how long have you been planning this? Huh? Was this your plan all along? To bring me back into Haruka's life? No matter how nice that sounds, I'd be breaking my agreement with the Daidoji. Well, you can worry about them later. Right now, just get a move on to Serena. This might be your last chance to see her. Better to regret having gone than never going at all. Got it? Now I suggest you hurry. This might be your last chance to see her. Better to regret having gone than never going at all. Got it? Now I suggest you hurry. What would I do if I saw Uncle Kaz again? Sorry, but what kind of question is that? Do you know something, Akiyama-san? I thought we were here for a get-together with Date-san. Sorry, that was just a hypothetical. But I've told you before, haven't I? How I don't buy that Kiryu-san's actually dead. So if the man were still around, well, I bet he'd pop up out of nowhere on a day like this. Especially with you and Haruto-kun here in Kamurocho of all places. Wait, you're saying he's coming? Uncle Kaz? I am. At least, hypothetically. <laughs> And now we're back to my original question. If Uncle Kaz really did show up, I'd be really happy to see him alive and well. And in the same breath, I feel like I'd realize how weak we are on our own. Huh? It's been years since everyone at Morning Glory and I heard that Uncle Kaz died. Regardless of whether he's alive or in heaven, we always supported each other so we can meet him with our heads held high. <sighs> Some of the kids are already all grown up and make enough money to get by on their own. We all admired Uncle Kaz's strength, and when the going got tough, we'd grit our teeth and push through it. So, it wouldn't be right for me to say that I want to see him again, no matter how badly. Because I don't know if I'll ever be ready to face him. I get it, Haruka-chan. You've gotten so strong, Haruka. Like mother, like daughter. <laughs> Isn't that right, Yumi? You with the Daidoji? We've been keeping an eye on you, you know. Hanawa may be dead, but we are certainly not. Had we not pitied you, we never would have loosened the grip on your leash. It seems we've given you the impression you had the freedom to do whatever you wish. 
What are you getting at? Let's talk about your detective friend, Dante. There are consequences for breaking an agreement. He fails to comprehend that simple of a concept. I must say, it's gotten out of hand. So could you just keep him in line? Then we'll let bygones be bygones. What did you do to him? Follow us if you care to find out. Dante son. <clears throat> hey, you okay? What happened? Because you swore to abandon the name Kazuma Kiryu, the Daidoji faction would pose no threat to you or those around you. Detective Dante himself witnessed the exchange. He was very much aware of the consequences. Hey! Kiryu! What is it, Date san No hi? Had to go. And then you made Haruka. If Kiryu-san had met her, you wouldn't have gotten off this easy. Consider yourself lucky. Because right about now, your lungs would be heavy with the water of Tokyo Bay. Wait. You didn't see her? Why? She can stand on her own two feet now. And that's good enough for me. I don't have the right to interfere with her life. And I never would have known that without your help. I'm in your debt. Words can't describe how much. Cure you. For now, let me start by taking care of them. Why don't we all just settle down? You're the ones who broke off the agreement. You only have yourselves to blame. We also heard from Date-san. You're running out of time. He begged us to let you go, let you run free at the end of your life. Said you'd only be saying your farewells to a loved one. <sighs> Hilarious, isn't it? You are no longer Kazuma Kiryu. That man is long gone. That was your side of the agreement. Now I want to hear this from your mouth. Kazuma Kiryu is dead. You swore it once. Now swear it again! Seems like you'll bend any which way to please the faction. I almost feel sorry for you. Care to elaborate? I went to Hawaii for a mission from the Daidoji, one I've yet to complete. Which means you don't have permission to kill me. And the only way you'll stop me is over my dead body. Hey! <laughs> that was your last chance to pull the trigger. But because the faction won't allow it, you hesitated. Now you'll suffer all the pain my friend endured, and then some. That's why I said I almost felt sorry for you. I back off if I were you. Because you just made a terrible mistake. You're finished, Kiryu! You're going to regret this. I'll take you off. Not the Koya! I'm over here! Who wants to get for the kill? Allow me. Wanna play? Ready for the knockout. No begging for mercy now. Right. What? Out of my way! Try to block this! Uh, uh, what are you 
Here we go. Now we're talking. You want some? I'm over here. Who wants to go? Watch this. Better hustle now. <laughs> It's time. You're weak. You're going to regret this. Easy. Wake up. And that's the end of it. They didn't stand a chance. You still with me, Date-san? <laughs> yeah. Can't go out before the guy who's always ready to die. Sorry. It's my fault you were dragged into this mess. I should have known this would happen, but I went ahead and tried to see Haruka anyway. If I'd held up my end of the bargain, it wouldn't have come to this. But in the end, you had to pay for it. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm only doing this because I want to. Stay back. If you kill me, know that you'll never get away with it. Relax. I'm not gonna kill you. After all, the fault lies with me. Your only mistake was forcing him to pay my dues. If you hadn't done that, I wouldn't have cared what happens to me. Do you think that excuse is what you've done? No. But even if I got on my knees and begged, there's nothing left for me to lose. All I can do now is renew our agreement. <laughs> I will never try to meet Haruka or any of my friends again, nor try contacting them. And once this business with the Seiryu clan and Palikan is settled, I swear not to get involved with Kasuga and his friends again. <sighs> right. That includes Date-san, too. Eh, Kiryu! If you ever cross the Daidoji again, Makoto Date will be the first to go. And don't you forget it. That's all we had to say. Man, <laughs> why'd I get stuck with this shitty job? No kidding. Talk about bad luck. I'll take you somewhere to get treated, but after that, we're done. Ugh. Sheesh. Who'd have thought I'd get roughed up at this age? Seriously. Maybe next time try not to put yourself in danger, Date-san. Well... Would have been worth it if you'd got to say goodbye to Haruka. Don't worry about it. I'm actually feeling pretty good, all things considered. When you're raising kids, there'll be a day you have to set them loose. Haruka and the kids at Morning Glory have all grown up strong. There's nothing else I can teach them, and it's better for me to disappear before they figure that out themselves. It's about time I do, for good. After all, I was meant to die back in Hiroshima. And reminds me. Hmm? I got in touch with Haruka and Akiyama earlier. Told them I'd be late because I got in a car accident. An accident, huh? Well, with those injuries, I guess no other excuse would fly. Boy, were they surprised. Especially Akiyama. Once he realized you wouldn't make it, that guy's definitely gonna grill me later. Mind telling him I'm sorry? Pretty sure he'd rather hear that from you. He's gonna start moping again, you know. Yeah, I can definitely see that. I should get going. All right. Hey. 
You said you were feeling pretty good, right? You saying you have no more regrets in life? Because that's not what this whole thing was about. I don't care what the hell you're sick with. You've given up too much of yourself to it. It's like you're not afraid of dying. You've given up before you see where the chips fall? That's not the cure you I know. What happened to the dragon of Dojima? The man who'd keep fighting even if it's a losing battle. What are the odds of you fighting that illness and winning? Gotta be higher than zero. Yeah, must be. Well, the past few days, I've met with a bunch of folks who knew the old you. They all remember you as a fighter. Whenever the going gets tough, your memory helps them push through. I'm sure one day they'll find themselves in front of a steep hill, feet rooted to the ground. But if they heard that Kazuma Kiryu dared to fight death itself, now that'd give them the courage to even move mountains. That's the sort of inspiration you instill in the people around you. And that's not all. You give everyone the strength to press forward. So wouldn't it make sense to keep fighting to the very end? I'm... Not as strong as you think I am. You're giving me too much credit here. Yeah, I'm not buying that. I've stuck by you for a damn long time now. If you were some random, ordinary guy, maybe I would have given up and let you waste away. But there's no way I can just give up on you. After all, you're... You're the best friend I've ever had. Thank you. Everything you just said. Everything you've done for me up till today. Thank you. For all of it. It's true. I could struggle harder, longer. Maybe it'd buy me a little more time. But I'd spend the rest of my life as someone else. Is that really something worth fighting for? The only way to find out is to live. In this world, you never know what might happen. As long as you don't give up, Kazuma Kiryu can find his way back to us. It all depends on if you will it. I hope that one day I'll see things your way. I really do. <sighs> Guess that's enough of that for now. You still have some unfinished business, don't you? Huh? Like helping Ichiban Kasuga. That guy's quite a handful, too. You're right. Goodbye, Date-san. Stay safe. Yeah. Goodbye, Kazuma Kiryu. So long, old friend.